Welcome to Anki 101 with the Anking. This video is going to discuss how you suspend a card, bury a card, mark a card, add tags to your card, and sort your cards into decks in order to keep things organized. Alright, these next few skills will keep you really organized and help you as you start to make a lot of cards. As you can see, I have quite a few decks. I'm learning Chinese. This Zonky deck we'll talk about later has tons of decks, and within those decks are even more decks. And it helps to keep things organized so you know what you're looking for. Now I've made a deck here called New Cards. If we wanted to add a new one, we would just click Create Deck. But we're going to make a deck inside the New Cards deck. So we're going to click Create Deck here, and we're going to type New Cards exactly like it is right there, capitals and all. And we're going to add two colons. You see that right there. That's really important. And now we'll do tutorial to call the new deck. So we hit OK. You can see it pops up right here inside the new cards deck. And now we're going to create a card inside the new cards deck and add a tag so that you can better understand what tags do. So click tutorial, add, and the. And we'll you may have basic on here. You can see I have a lot more cards than what you probably are starting with. I'm going to highlight this and click this button. We'll talk about that in a different movie, but this is just calling, it's called a closed deletion. I'll add a picture here. Now before I click add, I want to add a tag because tags can help to keep things organized. So I'm going to add a tag called practice and I'm adding the exclamation point in there You'll see why in a second. So we're going to click Add. All right. Now if we go back here, we've got our new card in the tutorial deck. We're going to go look at it in the browser. In the browser, you can see here's my new cards deck. Here's the tutorial deck. There's the card that I just made. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see all the tags. Now you can see I am using a lot of tags to keep myself organized. But right here, there's our practice tag. And so those tags, if you wanted to make things based off of membranes, you can see I have multiple cards based off of membranes. So that's how you make decks and tags. Next, we're going to learn how you suspend, bury, and mark cards and what that means. So we'll click here. Go. This card is how you suspend a card. Down here where it says more, you can see there's shortcuts for all of these actions here. Now we're going to suspend a card. A card is something that just has one closed deletion. A note is if there's a card that has multiple closed deletions on it, it will suspend all of them. Now suspending means it's going to freeze the card. That card is no longer active, it's not going to come back. But you're going to suspend it and it disappears. Next, how you bury a card. Burying a card is extremely useful. And as you can see, you can bury the card or the note. And when you bury the card, what you do is you send it to tomorrow. Now this can be extremely useful if, say, for example, you clicked the show answer button, but you hadn't quite read it, or you clicked it on accident, or you read it incorrectly, and you, you don't know what to do. Should I, should I hit again? Did I get the card wrong? If you bury it, it just sends it tomorrow, and it will come back tomorrow with the same scheduling on it. So this can be extremely useful. And the next one is how you mark a card. Marking a card is just like what it sounds. It just marks it so you know that you can, you have something you need to come back to. So if we click Mark Note, it's going to add a little star here. And that's all it does. Now if we go to the browser, we're going to go to this deck, and you can see these three cards. Now each of these is labeled differently. The purple one is the marked card. This one that has the parentheses, but it doesn't have a color, is the buried card and the yellow one with the parentheses is the suspended card. So the difference between suspended and mark is that this is yellow. It's not going to come back. The one that doesn't have any color is going to come back tomorrow and you will see it. So that is how you bury, suspend, and mark a card. Thanks for learning with the Ang King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.